Yo, 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 what's up guys? It's time to answer the age-old question. Should you wear your watch above the bone or below the bone? Uh, guys, I got a hoodie on, right? And hoodies tend to land like right on the bone. Most of the time below the bone. So I like to, for my watches to kind of peek out of my hoodies. So I got a hoodie on, this hoodie hits on the bone. So that means my watch is wearing below the bone. Um... So if I was to wear my watch above the bone, it would look something like this. You see, it's above, it's above the bone. My, my, so now I got to pull my hoodie back to make it, so I can only wear my hoodie hiked back if I, because my watch is above the bone. But uh, if you don't want to deal with all that, just wear your watch loose. Wear your watch below the bone so you can just throw your hoodie on and not have to worry about sliding your sleeve up all day long so that's how i like to wear mine guys plus i like i like to wear like beads and stuff like that so my beads always show outside uh so yeah so i got some beads on right uh look like that all right and my watch looks like that bang all right Below the bone, guys. Below the bone is the way to go. It doesn't fight your hoodie. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Below the bone for your boy. Uh, it's nice and loose. I could I can bust out of, and do some push-ups at any moment without my watch feeling like it's going to pop. So, guys, if you're wearing your watch and you can't it, it, do a quick couple of push-ups without popping out of your watch, then your watch is too tight, guys. <laughs> Just my thoughts. Till next time, blow the bone for your boy.